Did I scare you? <laughs> I just try to have the Majora's Mask on. <laughs> if you didn't see last episode, I had to fight five Lionels in a row, and I pretty much used up all my weapons, or at least all my good ones. Well, a lot of my shields too, because they pretty much got one shot by the Lionels. But anyways, today, today everybody, we are finally heading to Death Mountain. Now, I know, I know, I said I was gonna head to Death Mountain like eight times already, but we're actually gonna go there. As you can see, regional phenomena, we're gonna head in the direction of Death Mountain today. So, get ready. <laughs> and one big thing that I'm very curious about with Death Mountain, also we're definitely gonna do that shrine on the way there, uh, if you take a look at it, it's freaking like gloom coming out of there which is a little spooky. So, uh, I'm nervous about what we're gonna have to deal with up over there, but also quite excited. Ooh, Shrine of Light nearby. That's the first time a sensor has actually worked on screen. And also it looks like Addison is here with a very, uh, not freaking symmetrical sign in the slightest. Well, I guess I can help you out, bud. So now that I have a uh, auto build, Am I gonna be able to auto build this little structure every single time that like will automatically finish any single Addison thing for me? Talk to me, bro. Thanks for your help earlier. Yup, can't stay in here forever. I know, I know. Try letting go, try letting go. Yup, the V strat, dude. It like almost always works. Like 90% of the time it works. Well, there we go, bud. That was brilliant, wow. Now give me a bomb. I know you're not usually gonna give me something mid on your third item. It's usually always something you can find in the depths. It's either a bomb, puff shroom, a pony ticket, or the other thing that you can find down in the depths. But it's always 20 rupees, uh, rice, <laughs> balls, or whatever. Yes. And there you go. Veggie rice balls, and then puff shroom. Yup. There it is. All right, Addison. I'll see you later. <laughs> Onward to the shrine. The shrine sound also sounds a lot different in this game. It's very low tuned and it's less annoying, I think. <laughs> the other one was like, beep, beep. <laughs> Whatever. That's an interesting structure over there. Maybe we'll take a look at that in a moment, but we definitely want to get this shrine done first. Seems like there's some people over here too. Okay, well, we'll take a look at all the stuff outside of this shrine later. For now though, I just want to get into this shrine. What could this possibly be about? Combat training throwing. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for the... Okay, <laughs> didn't even get a chance. Well, I'm already a master of throwing things. Uh, and I feel like I'm already pretty good at combat so far due to the fact that, uh, whatever, this shrine purifies ancient evil you have entered here, he might instruction, but I've already fought five Lionels, bro. I don't think I need any more training. <laughs> Aim true and throw the material. Yeah, this is definitely a shrine that I probably should have done like way earlier. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Whoa, okay, bro. I'll just do that. Yep, I know. Thanks for the free fire fruits, though. Let me just, uh, up, 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 up. There we go. Well done. And then there's gonna be three that appear, then I throw three fire fruits, and then it's GG's, right? Right, Raru? Watch the enemy's movements carefully, then throw the material at them. Oh, I'm trying to hit a moving target. Is that what this is? Uh... Uh, okay, I mean, what? <laughs> Was something different supposed to happen? Is that it? You have proven your mastery, now proceed to the innermost chamber. Well, that was the easiest shrine that wasn't a blessing. Oh my gosh, that was free. You could have at least put like two more enemies or something. Made it a little more challenging. Can I even get those? I better be able to get those materials. Oh, thank goodness, there's ladders. Like I said, I, I need some stuff, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm running low. I'm running low on uh, freaking shields specifically, but I think I'm fine on bows for now. Bomb flowers times three. Thanks, dude. Thanks, this <laughs> Addison tier levels of a gift. I could just get three of those in the freaking depths without even trying, but whatever. Thanks for your, I don't know consideration, Raru. I need to actually trade in my stuff, dude. <laughs> I really should. Whatever. See you later. So I've done exactly 31 shrines right now. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh. Geoglyph, huh? Let's see here. So, have you learned of any new geoglyph locations? Uh, we have balloons scouring the kingdom for them, although it's hardly quick work. Maybe we could, uh, survey more horse, <laughs> survey more territory by launching out of the, sh uh, Skyview Towers? But, no, that's not safe. Oh. Hmm, 
Oh, it's you, Link. Mm -hmm. Hi. Link, hello. Uh... We are searching in every region for geoglyphs. Alas, they are not as easy to find as one might expect. Ooh. Lady Impa, what would you say to a targeted approach? Instead of looking everywhere, we start by finding a clue. Mm -hmm. Hmm, a forgotten temple would be best for that, I suppose. It's in a canyon in Hebra. We can only hope it's not too dangerous there. Oh. For now, let us continue combing the land for information. We need every scrap of evidence we can find. Ah. Uh, the survey team will support you however we can. Many hands, as they say. Ooh. Thank you. And Sir Link, we could use your help as well. Please continue to search for the geoglyphs. Or you could go to that uh, forgotten temple at the bottom of a canyon in Hebra. Okay, why do they keep telling me to go there? Every time they do, I, I thought I was supposed to like go there and that would give me like the final memory or something. But I guess maybe like something in the forgotten temple will like tell me where all the geoglyph locations are. Which could be kind of cool, I guess. Also, what is this? Should I put the Endura carrot I just got here? Um, there you go. No? You want an apple instead? Apple? You want an apple? Uh... Oh wait, it's gonna be the- Oh, it's Lord of the Mountain again. Oh, I'm stupid. It's the same tree with the Lord of the Mountain. Okay, oh, yo, you're pretty close this time, buddy. Hi. And you're gonna show all the pillars of light. Okay, so I was told that all the pillars do is it shows where cave entrances are, and that's it. So, uh, thanks for that, I guess? I thought this would have been a Korok, but it does make sense because there's like the little pond, the little tree. Well, I'd much rather ride on you, but thanks for the pillars, I guess. They disappear eventually. I don't know how long it takes, but they do eventually disappear. I also see, oh, okay, this is fun. A little Korok here. Like I said, I love these little mini games with the Koroks. Up there, nope. What? Sound like it was behind me. Oh, oh, I see where it is. Okay, it just was below me. Gotcha. Well, now it's gonna be up. Yeah, there it is. Luckily, I got the stamina for it. Woo! And the finisher. Very nice. Yay! Yahaha! I sure do love Yahaha. Me when I Yahi. <laughs> is that another Korok over there? Oh dear. Oh dear. Battle tell us. Hello. Uh, you need to reach your friend. Where is he? Ah, uh, my friend and I got separated. He's on the battle tell us <laughs> over there, huh? Okay. My friend is setting up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired though, I can't move. I could either make a ship to go across, fly across? That could be dangerous. Uh, or I could fight the battle talus and go around. I'm gonna try and fly across. Let's see if this will work. I'm here, buddy. I'm gonna need ya. <laughs> here, you stay right there. This could either work or not at all. Activate! Go! Oh my gosh. Yo! That was perfect! Oh my gosh. That couldn't have gone better. Wow. All right, let's go. There's my friend, yay! There you go, Korok friends. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Korok seeds, yippee! Ya ha 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 ha! I love little, little Korok saving mini games or whatever. I don't even know what to call them, dude. They're just too cute. The battle talus is all the way up over there now? Where are you going? Come back! I wanted to fight you. <laughs> Notice me! Please! There we go. <laughs> that got its attention. All right, sit down. Yup, yup. Sit down. And then ascend. Maybe, maybe. Come on. Give me a chance. There we go. Shnoom, slither up that battle talus. <laughs> oh, hey, dude. How's it going? <laughs> Hey, get that bow out of my face, bro. Get it out of here. <laughs> this is what I'm looking for. Oh, with this big... Oh, actually, this is free. Oh, don't knock me off. Hold on. I just gotta spin. Spin to win. Don't knock me off. Don't do it, Battle Talus. It did it. Oh, hi. <laughs> Good to see you again, bro. Ew, get your face out of my face. <laughs> ascend. I love this. I love that you can just ascend up these, dude. All right, quit throwing things at me. I gotta finish off this Battle Talus, bro. Okay, I finished off this battle talus. So you can start throwing things again. Are you still alive? Yep, he's still alive. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> Another shrine of light nearby, you say? I see. Well, we got a stone talus heart here. Might as well uh, fuse it to this and 23, not bad. Okay, the shrine of light is in this direction. We might as well get to the shrine of light. 
we're still heading into the direction that we need to go, right? Yeah, we're definitely heading in the direction we need to go. Okay, let's find the Shrine of Light. There are a lot of Aracudas around here, holy moly. Oh, I remember this place. Yeah, this is the one with all the little branches in it. Okay, let's be careful here. I don't wanna just run straight into these Aracudas. There's one down. Well, I'm not gonna give them the satisfaction of finishing me off. There we go, yeah, I just lost two bows. What the, it's about to start lightninging, oh dear. That is scary. Okay, let's be careful here. Got an armored like like. Oh, wait. Bomb arrows won't work in the rain, will they? Never mind, they still do. <laughs> in Breath of the Wild, they didn't, but Tears of the Kingdom says, who cares? Ow! That did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Oh, it's a rock like. I didn't even know that they were different. I thought it was a like like. But nope, I guess they have rock like. Uh, anyways, I should probably kill you somehow. Okay, I'm gonna play it risky. This will do huge damage. I just don't want to get electrocuted, please. Give me some time. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That would have killed me. And I don't have any fairies, by the way. Normally I have fairies, but I use them all up fighting the Lynels. So whatever HP I got, that's that's it. <laughs> that's all I have. Where the heck did the chest go? It's going to explode. I'm scared. Where is it? I actually can't find it. What the heck? Was there even a chest that came out of the like lake? Well, if there was, I don't see it anymore. I think the treasure is right up here. Here we are. Let's see what's inside this old treasure. Something good, hopefully? Never, it never is, dude. I always am like, please be something good and there's never anything good. Huh, this feels like a Korok, but eh, I don't know. Yeesh! That was close. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, there's only one way to get in there and that's with a rocket or with a funny or neither. Oh, there we go. We found it. I guess I could have gotten it from the other way too. Oh, it even shows you direction. That's so cool when it's below you. That's so cool. Okay, Renit Shrine, AKA the Cheese It Shrine. Not AKA, but I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Cheese It Shrine. What do we got? Jump the gaps. Okay, I'm pretty good at jumping. Let's see here. Boop. Uh, all right, let's get some info. Ah, well that didn't work. We need, uh, this, a ramp. Here we are, a bee perfect. There we go. That's as close to perfect as we're gonna get. Let's go. Wahoo! I love these types of shrines too, where you use like the momentum of stuff and get to see things flying all around. Oh, it's fun, it's fun. Let's see what the next one's all about. Look at that, look at that. I wanna slide down that, that looks fun. <laughs> okay, so we, hmm. Oh, this is free. This is free. All we gotta do is position this upwards and make like a slide. That's easy. Okay. Well, maybe not the greatest slide of all time, but it could, mm, it's not gonna work. This is not gonna work, but we'll try. We can try. I suppose I have to jump a gap too. Hup. Mm, I'm so good at that. How am I supposed to get over there? Maybe a shield jump would be enough? Let's see. I'm so garbage, bro. Wait, I'm stupid. Oh my gosh. I can use this. Okay, I was probably supposed to use it for a bridge, but I can just use it to get a little extra height in this case since I've already built it. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. All right, chest. Please don't disappoint me like most of them do. Oh. Oh. Okay, thanks. That actually didn't disappoint me. I need some shields. After the Lionel's freaking broke them all. All right, let's see here. Down it comes and shoo, -yum, shoo. How about that? We did it. Let's go, dude. Oh, these shrines are so much fun. <laughs> Literally building slides. That's so fun, dude. Ooh, I'm going under it. <laughs> oh, this is so good, dude. I love Tears of the Kingdom. How do people dislike shrines? They're so fun. They're just like bite-sized funs. Fun, funs? Whatever. They literally are just like bite-sized dungeons, dude. And they're so fun. I could literally get three <laughs> things of stamina. I'm so stupid, bro. I'm so stupid. Well, I was just about to say we're lucky that the storm ended, but another one is about to happen. So maybe we're not so lucky. I do see shock fruits coming from this Boko. I would like to steal your shock fruits. Don't notice me. He noticed me, that's fine. Uh, I can probably just one shot with the Lionel bow, surely. A beep. yep. And hi, Aracuda, no shot. <laughs> ah, hi. Electric shoot, no, there's another one. Woo, that was scary. 
Uh, brrr. What? I thought that would have done a lot more. Uh, there we go. And a boop. <laughs> oh, there's another one, I see. Yeah, don't waste your shock fruits. Whew. That is electricity everywhere. Wow, there's a lot of electricity in this area. Ah! <laughs> I was caught in a freaking box. I'm just trying to collect this stuff before somebody breaks it, aka you, you stupid moblin. There we go, got all the goods. Now I can fight you with... Give me a second. Oh no, I dropped that. Oh, so unfortunate. It totally doesn't make the battle so much easier now. Uh, boom! Oh, but you're a black moblin. Okay, I am glad I did that then. I thought you were blue at first. Freaking colorblind moment. <laughs> well, there we go. Easy, easy, easy. Give me that. Gnarled wooden stick. Didn't I already have one of these? I swear I did. No, I think I had a club. Gnarled wooden club. Ooh, so much different. <laughs> All right, welcome back to, is the treasure chest disappointing or not? Let's find out together. It sure is. How many arrows do we have now? 700, I don't need more. This game gives you so many arrows. Dude, in Breath of the Wild, I remember I had to farm up arrows occasionally. In this game, you do not. Oh dear, here comes the storm. Better get my uh, weapons off here. Okay, I see some caves thanks to the Lord of the Mountain. Oh, and a freaking great fairy over there too. And a shrine. Okay, lots of stuff over here. I mean, that just makes sense for there to be lots of stuff. I don't know why I would bother with you guys. <laughs> Not right now. Yeah, I think uh, let's get to the shrine. Yeah, let's get to the shrine, do the shrine, then we'll explore the stables, see what kind of stuff we got. We'll probably have a side quest with Pen as well. Can I please stop getting so close to these lightning strikes, dude? I'm getting nervous. What's this sign say? Lost Woods, Goron City. Ooh. You know, I got several comments about people telling me not to go to Lost Woods. And just to let you know, never comment don't do something to me because that's going to make me want to do it. Now I kind of want to go to Korok Forest because people told me don't go there. Next, you're going to tell me don't go to Hyrule Castle. And then you're going to trick me to play in the, or freaking be in the game early. If that's even a thing, I don't even know. Uh, all right. That's a thing, I guess. Um, do I not just get up on it and then recall? Uh, yep. I mean, that's not so hard. Cool. All right, game. What do we got next? Uh, well, that's also pretty simple. I just get up on it and do it again, right? Yep. Oh, but the chest, though. Actually, this will be pretty easy. I just do the same thing. I just wait for it to get up here, jump down, grab the chest, and then keep it moving. Oh, Sheesh. <laughs> okay. Well, stay up there. Let me grab this chest, and then you can fall back down. Understand? Another strong Zonite shield. Okay, sure. Up we go. There we are. Let's see. What's the last one? A big kaboom? Oh, that's free. That's easy. That's easy. We just uh, do it again. Wait, what? Hmm. Oh, I see. We gotta use this, shoot it upwards. I gotcha, that's fun, that's fun, okay. Oh, boop, send it up, woohoo, and back down it goes. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, not quite, wait till I'm on it, actually. We go shneerum, up, up, wait for it, there's the big one. <laughs> boop. Ah, uh, recall shrines are always the most fun, dude, they really are. Yo, we had two really fun shrines back to back. No like boring ones, no combat training. The combat training ones are, I'm sorry. They, they put me to sleep, bro. They really do. They're so bad. It's probably because I don't know how to play the game because of Breath of the Wild, but still. It's just like, dude, you don't need combat training like two archery ones. There were two of the same ones, bro. Like what? Sheesh. Dude, you didn't even get me a chance to just boom. <laughs> All right, let's see what's up here. Is it all the way up here or just right? here uh just right here okay well i know how to use recall let's see what we got here hmm yeah rockets let's go i'm always down for some more rockets you already know so what is this stable what stable is this woodland stable have we already visited that yo yo i'm a genius yo i'm a genius though <laughs> i honestly just guessed i literally just guessed Okay, there's lots of people here. Wish I had that balloon. Oh, that's a horse. I thought it, like something was trying to kill me. 
Okay, I'm gonna shoot that bloopy real fast. Get a little, uh, money. Wait. Is that who I think it is? Is that... Kilton? Is that his balloon? No, hold on. Let's, let's go see that later. We'll come back to Kilton. Wish I had that balloon. Yeah, hold on. I see it. How's a guy supposed to pick a path to Death Mountain? A trek up a mountain should be a red-hot adventure. If I had a balloon like the one on the other side of the pond, that'd spice things up a bit. Fat chance of that, though. Yeah, I see the balloon over there. Red hot. What's that? Did the fiery passion of my monologue catch your ear? Well, red hot is as red hot does, my friend. So a while back, Death Mountain was super active. We're talking full force, non-stop, red hot lava. But now the lava's all cooled down and hardened. It's even, ugh. I hate to say it, made a new road that's easy to walk. <laughs> and ease, my friend, is the opposite of the red hot style. Now, the route going up to Death Mountain from Foothill Stable to the east, on the other hand, that's an old dangerous road absolutely crawling with monsters. That's why I call it red hot. But uh, my muscles aren't exactly ready to take the heat right now, so that makes my decision more complicated. So you're telling me there's two ways, a fun way and a boring way. Well, we surely gotta go the fun way, right? Someday I'll go up there. Hi, child. Ah. Oh, is this your first time here, mister? Welcome, this is Woodland Stable. Hey, I gotta know. Oh. Are you looking for stuff that fell from the sky too? Uh, what do you mean, child? Yeah. You don't know. Look up there, there's an island floating in the sky. You see it too, right? Yeah, and there's several of them. Sometimes when I'm looking at the sky, a big box falls down from that island. Ah, ah there, look, look. A big box? Like a treasure? Or... Oh, you just mean that. Well, I already know I can recall those. That's a thing. And that means a sky person's gotta be dropping them! I don't know about that, kiddo. I always knew there was a kingdom in the sky, and I've always dreamed of going up there to play with all the sky animals! There are none, sorry. But I'm still little, so I'm not allowed to go too far away. Actually, I guess there are the weird, like, big... not emus. I don't know, whatever they are. I wanna hurry and be all grown up like you, mister, then I can go up there. I don't think any other highland's been up there. Do you think you could go into the sky if you had lots of big balloons? Like the one on the other side of the pond? Yeah, I'm sure you could. Or in Breath of the Wild if you had like a infinite amount of octo balloons. <laughs> ah, this is uh, quite the outfit you've put together. Although perhaps it could be a little more um, coordinated. That is, a complete set uh, would really uh, work for you. Oh, you're talking about me? I thought you were talking about yourself. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my eye for fashion can't help but see what it sees. I'm forever tempted by my latest styles. The same is true for my boyfriend. Oh, Nobo. Wait, I think we rescued your boyfriend, actually. The two of us were going to Goron City to buy their trendy fire-resistant clothes. Mm -hmm. But when we were about to arrive, we got tangled up with some Gorons with strange-looking rocks. I got scared and came back on my own. If you're going to Goron City, then you should be very careful. Okay, then. Oh, what if I put on the CC hat? Will you stop calling me cringe, then? Look at me, I'm not cringe. Uh, no, okay. Huh. Yo, I wanted you to call me cool, not cringe. How stylish. Okay, hold on, I guess she does like the hat. Never mind. I'll keep the hood on, though. Hi, what's up? Hello there. Going by your clothes, I take it you're not a member of the survey team. You're a traveler, aren't you? Have you, by chance, seen anything like a new animal species on your travels? Please tell me you have. Uh... Elaborate? Oh, guess not then. There's a big rumor spreading around the Stable Association of something I think might be a new animal species. Oh, is this the freaking rumored beast or whatever? It sounds big and brutal like a bear, and kind of uh, tusky like a rhino, but rumor is that it's not a bear or a rhino. I think it's a lot more than just a rumor though. There's an actual picture of the animal's footprints at one stable. If you see anything like a new animal species in your travels, please, please, please let me know. Okay, well, it's not even a side quest. Yeah, I want to learn more about this freaking rumored beast thing, though. I wonder where it is. What's up? So, fellow traveler, what are you searching for on your journey? My passion is finding geoglyphs. They're enormous pictures that have been drawn on the ground. When were they drawn? And who by? And how? The mysteries abound. I heard an interesting rumor that there are not one, but two geoglyphs in Elden. The first is supposedly on the south side of the mountain, which is to say, nearby. The other one, I'm told, is on the northwest side of the mountain range, near the Typhlo Ruins. I feel like we were supposed to go there for, I think, a sword or something? I forget. I'm trying to keep track of so many things, dude. This game is massive. Sadly, my search for the geoglyph in this area has come up empty. I suppose I'd have better luck if I climbed a hill and peered down from its summit. Or... 
we could uh, launch ourselves up a Skyview Tower right there. <laughs> or we could fly up using a hot air balloon. One of those two should work. Your wagon's just perfect, huh? It's finally time! The towing harness of my dreams! Took a while to save up pony points for it. So many wild horses registered, so many knights at stables. But it's all been worth it. Now that I've got this harness, I can tow to my heart's content. Hmm, oh. hey, you've been staring for a while uh, now. Something up? Huh? You wouldn't happen to be jealous of my towing harness, would you? Dude, I already have one. I don't want it. Oh. I totally get it. I mean, if you had a harness of your own, your horse could pull a wagon or all kinds of other stuff. Doing business from a wagon has always been a dream of mine. Me being a merchant and all, I trade around Akala to the northeast, so if you ever pass me on the road, definitely give me a shout. Okay, sure, bro. <laughs> I guess. There's a lot of people at this stable. How's it going? Hope they're all right. Oh, do my eyes deceive me? Or do you plan on setting out? I take it you're also headed to Goron City. This may be an odd warning, but do try to watch out for Gorons with strange rocks. Yeah. What What are the strange rocks? Oh. The Gorons are typically so gentle and hardworking, oh. but lately it seems the young ones have stopped working altogether, and some are even playing tricks on travelers. I met one injured traveler who told me that the Gorons in question all carried strange rocks. So if you also plan to go to the city, watch out for... Yeah, okay, what? Ah. There's a restaurant up this mountain uh, path toward the city. I pointed a traveler in that direction quite some time ago, but there's been no sign of them coming back. Mm. It's hard not to imagine they've gotten into some sort of trouble. I don't really know what all this means. But it's the duty of a stable to keep its guests safe, so I can't help but worry. I see. Well, guess we uh, have a lot of new information to go on. A little strange, though. Uh, what the heck? Ew! I do not like that. <laughs> Those must be the performers, though. We'll have to talk to them in a minute. Uh, wait. Toma. Wait, Misko's treasure. Would he ever talk to you? I forget. Uh, overheard some great uh, info on Misko's treasure. And it looks like you overheard me. Perfect. This is so juicy. I've got to share. You ever heard of Misko's treasure? The famous bandit's uh, huge clothing collection? The story goes that Misko hid it in caves all throughout the land. Just the thought gets my fashion-loving heart pounding. Oh. They say the caves of Elden are practically bursting with treasure, which should be very exciting if they weren't also bursting with lava. If I walked into one dress like this, my clothes would be burned to a crisp. I see. Well, I was hoping you would give me some information on where they were, but alas. Hi there. Oh. Welcome, you found your way to Woodland Stable. Oh. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. This is your first time here, we'll add one point to your pony points. Hey, I can get a reward now. Cool. How about that? Oh, oh looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your rewards, step by the... Yeah, uh, yeah, Okay, once again, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse, bring it here, register. Yup, oh. how can I help you? None of those, mm. sorry. <laughs> oh, Death Mountain is done erupting, and the city and roads are in good condition. Though, you'll still find hot lava inside the cave, so take care not to get burned. Gotcha. Well, I appreciate the uh, warning. Uh, let's see what the award is, though. Yes, receive reward. I'm curious. Yes, pony points Ooh. reward. For five points, you get the horse god fabric. That's right. Oh, that's right. For the freaking paraglider. Okay, cool. Oh. the die shop at the 10-0. Yep, yep, yep. If you find yourself. Okay. Two more points. Oh. Use the Melania bed, which is said to bring prophecies from the horse god Melania? Okay, prophecies, huh? That does sound interesting. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. What, what, what? <laughs> Let's talk to you, hi. All right, mind going through it all one more time just to make sure I have all the details correct? What happened that night when the great fairy hid herself away? Well, we had our accident here one awful night sometime after the upheaval. We saw the great fairy nearby, vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got in our wagon to go to her. That's when it happened. Also, your name is Violin? Violin? That's funny. That's actually a really funny name. <laughs> a frightful, the whole thing! That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us! Our horse bolted away, off it ran, into the night! But the real tragedy, that involved one of the most crucial members of our troop. What's that? The flute? Oh, our beloved breezer! Some of its wheels broke, and now we can't even transport our instruments to performances! Or us! At least no one was hurt. But since that night, the great fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. It was that woman, I tell you! She did something to the great fairy! She's a villain twice over! She left the scene of our tragic accident without so much as an apology! Whatever reasons the great fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. 
But with the breezer broken down, we can't transport our small troop or our instruments there. Hmm. And the one who caused all of this was a blonde haired woman, you say? Hmm, could that have been? It wasn't Zelda, I know. <laughs> I know it wasn't. Oh. oh, hello there, partner. I didn't know you were out this way. You have perfect timing though. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but we've got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me an interesting tale. Apparently, the great fairy who lives near this stable has shut herself away in her flower bud. Why, you ask? Well, it seems to- <coughs> Well, it seems to have something to do with a mysterious blonde-haired woman. Mm. My reporter instincts are calling out. Could the mystery woman be her? Could she be Princess Zelda? Oh. Of course, we can't put anything to print until we're sure it's true. So we have to talk to the great fairy first. Great fairy? Ha! <laughs> Asking all the right questions. Good instincts, kid. You'd make a decent reporter yet. Yeah, I already know where she is. She's up there. Look up, or look way up those hills. See that big plant in the distance? The one that's spouting the pretty stuff? That right there is the flower bud where the great fairy lives. They say she really likes this musical troupe, and that's why she moved near the stable recently. A great fairy who loves this troupe's music performances? That alone is something worth looking into. Oh. We mustn't forget that the great fairy bestows protective blessings on travelers. Her presence is essential to the stable. I do hope we can help her soon. If only we had a way to reach her. But Breezer is broken, and we don't go anywhere without it. Not to mention our horse is gone. We're stuck here. I see. Serenade to a great fairy. Well, let's go talk to this great fairy, shall we? Oh, dear. Look at all that. Military training camp. Oh, I remember this place. Yeah, I remember from Birth of the Wild. Oh, it's got all the freaking goopy stuff. That's right. I know what you are, monster. You've come for my blessing of clothing enchantment. I've heard this land is now smothered in gloom and overrun with monsters. Oh, I'll never hear a musical troupe pass by it again and the sweet notes of its violin player. I'm staying sealed up in my flower bud for the rest of eternity or until I hear a violin in the world once more. I came here to be close to a stable where I could offer my blessings to travelers. But now, until I hear a violin played by a musician in a troupe, I can't bear the thought of ever going outside again. All right, violin. You want to play your violin? Yo, play your violin. Uh, I'll try to think of a way to reach the great fairy. The great fairy's presence is such a stable. Okay. Takes our instruments. Oh, I need to fix the breezer. Okay. And you need the horse. That's right. Gotcha. Well, the wheels are pretty simple. I'll just uh, steal some of these. That's one wheel. And another wheel. There we go. I uh, I fixed it. <laughs> uh, bro, I I'll, I'll take you. Yeah. I can't believe it. With violin, he's made some sort of change to the breezer. We may be able to go on our way now. Quick, let's get in. We wouldn't want to be left behind. I don't know why I pressed A so early. Maybe it's because I don't want to talk to this guy anymore because he keeps me out. <laughs> oh. Oh, I still need the horse. And that's why I need the... Oh, I need the freaking horse thing. I unlocked it. That's cool. Okay, hi. Huh? No way. You want us to get out? No, no. Don't, don't get out. Don't get out. I first run in a while. Feels new. Away we go. Okay, I have to take them? I don't have a horse yet, though. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I don't have a horse. I was told that uh, you can get horses from your Breath of the Wild account, but I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. We're going to have to catch a random horse. You there. You'll have to do. <laughs> Come here, horse. I need you. Let's go. Are you even good? Are you even a good horse? Eh, you're probably pretty mid. But whatever. Let's go. Hi, I have a horse. Link, welcome to our stable. If you get to one horse, you can hear... Yes, okay. Register horse. Understood. Your horse will be in good hands. Oh, it's so mid. Oh, it's so mid. Whatever. We'll go for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, special promotion going on right now, so you can register your first horse for free. Ooh. Ooh. At one point. Whoa. Crazy. <laughs> well, then I'll move on to the registration process. Please enter a name for the horse. Uh, good question. What do we name this thing? I think I usually name a lot of my horses Bread. So I'll name this Bread. Bread. Let's go, Bread. Can we please have, like, more than five horses also? Five horses in Breath of the Wild was trash. Can we please have, like, 30? <laughs> that would be insane. Have, like, Pokemon amount of horses. That concludes the registration process. Since you're here, would you like to equip the horse with the towing harness? Yes, please. Understood. Give me just a moment. There we go. Harness attached. If you attach a harness to a stable wagon, you can transport bulky materials. 
Oh. More people. <laughs> Please ask whenever you feel like changing your horse's gear. Well, that's all I can do for you. Thanks for using the stable, pal. Mm. Speaking of which, do you know about whistling? If you get separate from your horse, you can whistle it and it'll come running. Yeah, I know how to whistle. Too bad they patched out whistle running. <laughs> but your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind unless you have the horse armor that will make it so that it appears every time you whistle. Mm. I wonder if that'll be in that game. That game. This game. This one. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hi, horse. All right, bread. Let's get a move on, bud. So we should just be able to boop and then boop. You have pulled the whole thing. <laughs> there we go. That looks fine. All right, horse. Let's go. I'm actually taking these people on a ride. What the heck? <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. If only the horse would listen to me. What? What are you guys so scared? Why are you guys so scared? We're just going up a hill. It's not that hard. You're like, oh, oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> All right, here we are. We've made it to the place. Thank you. We could take it from here. All right, Mastro or Meister. No, that's Mastro, whatever. Lead us into the performance. Our little troop must play with all the hearts we can for the great fairy. Yes, for the great fairy. Please do that. <laughs> oh. Okay, I thought they were about to... I thought they were about to play the Wind Waker song. Okay. This is actually kind of pretty. Huh. Wake up, great fairy. It's time to wake up and bless my clothes. Oh, snap. Oop. Bro. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, here we go. Finally, we unlocked one of the great fairies. Great Fairy Tara. There she be. Alright, time for you to bless my clothes so that I won't die at a hit anymore, please. <laughs> I have plenty of materials. Yeah, look at how tiny he is compared. Oh, he can jump! What the heck? Chancellor Cole. <laughs> Behold, Violin, the Great Fairy graces us with her presence. Truly divine. Uh, oh, is that who I think it is? Yep, it's Pen. Hey, bro. How's it going? Oh. Well, look at this! You really helped out here, partner! I flew here as fast as I could when I saw the bud opening up! Yeah, we did our best. So this is a great fairy! Yep. Mm -hmm. Ah, I couldn't resist coming out to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was spreading over the land, and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. I hid myself away. But now that I look back on it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had the feeling something wasn't right. Yeah, because it's because she's like a freaking half of her vessel or whatever, because her real self is in the past, and like her body, and probably like just the just a very small amount of her will is left in this world. In the deep dark of that night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. Mm. Hmm. Okay then, maybe it was somebody else you say? I don't know who else it would be. Uh, so she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda. I don't like the sound of that at all. I think our reporting work might be taking a darker turn here. On the bright side, the Great Fairy is out of hiding, and that's a big scoop! I've got to take wing and get this news written up for the newspaper! And off you go then. We've worked together to chase three of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. You know, I don't think anyone would take you for a rookie with how hard you're working these investigations. I'm sure Tracy appreciates your efforts! Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner! Yet another purple rupee. Let's go. Thanks. Oh, that's right! Tracy has had nothing but nice things to say about you, partner! Seems like there's a little extra something in your compensation this time around! No surprise there! Oh, okay. Gotcha. I thought it was gonna be like another piece of a cloth or whatever. Okay! I'm gonna take this story and head back! This article will keep readers hanging on to every word! So long! <laughs> what about you guys? Mastro, I thought the rest of our musicians left the troupe because they didn't like how I played my violin. <laughs> violin? That wasn't it at all. Why, you moved the heart of the great fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. <laughs> I guess I really did do that, didn't I? I've heard the other great fairies are also hiding away in their buds. I bet if you, I mean, we play music for them, that'd cheer them up too. A brilliant idea! And you know what that calls for? Reuniting our troop! 
The Stable Trotters! I see. <laughs> Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. We're a troop of two for now, but... Oh, you just wait. I just know we'll get the other musicians back with us somehow. Yeah, yeah. Now that that's decided, we should get ready for our journey, Violin. Let's hurry to the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. I see. Serenade to a great fairy complete. How about that? And there they go. Well, hi there. I was about to return to my spring and its sweet serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across this land, you know. Aww. You'll find my sisters and their flower buds. They're as scared as I was to come out of hiding. Oh, you're gonna... Oh! Miha, Miha, Mija, I don't know, is near the, sta uh, the stable in Hebra. Ka Kaisa is near the stable in Hyrule Field. And Kotera is near the stable in West Nekluda. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I've been worried about our safety, but after hearing the musical troupe, I feel much better. May I ask, if you find the other buds, could you talk to my sisters? Oh, and while you're here, how about I enchant your clothes for you? Thank goodness I was waiting for this. Aww. With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Yes, please do. Mm -hmm. Which clothing I would like me to enhance? Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay. So I don't have the materials to... Oh, I can't even en enhance that? What the heck? Alright. Uh, I see... Ooh, we have enough to enhance the soldier's armor. That's good. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, let me see. Uh, cannot enhance, cannot enhance. Okay, seems like a lot of the uh, DLC or like exclusive items cannot be enhanced. But like lots of the outfits can. That's good. We'll start with the Hylian outfit, mm -hmm. I think. Yes. Go for this first. Aww. Now close your eyes. Okay, is it going to be any different from Breath of the Wild? <sighs> nope, I think that's the exact same. Okay. They probably have, because, like, it's usually, uh, for each tier, you upgrade a, uh, freaking armor or whatever. It, uh, there we go. Get a star. Nice. Oh. It usually will, uh, you know, they'll do, like, a special animation. And the fourth one, she grabs Link and takes him, like, freaking underground. It's terrifying. All done. Amazing. Very fine work, I must say. A resourceful hero like you surely wants to unlock even greater potential, yes? Some sets, if you enhance each part of the set twice, will give you a special bonus when you wear them. Not every set, mind you, but some. Mm -hmm. What about the others? Okay, I'll uh, start enhancing a few of these off screen. I don't remember this taking rupees though. That seems new to me, but whatever. Perfection, it's almost too beautiful if I do say so myself. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. yep, let's keep it moving. Beautiful, it turned out wonderfully. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just gonna see what else she uh, says whenever she upgrades stuff. <laughs> Aha, flawless. Mm -hmm. And there's the last of our clothes. Uh, Whew. Mm -hmm. Got them all. Want to make your clothes stronger? It doesn't seem possible. You're lacking either the clothes or the materials, or perhaps if I had access to my sister's powers. Mm -hmm. My little sister Kotla said she was going to a stable near the Dueling Peaks in Necklet to the south. Well, then I'm headed home. Oh. Take care. And there she goes. Well, we did it. Woo! Great Fairy Fountain is a thing now. Woo! I should probably take a commemorative photo for the very first one. You think? How about a Boko shield? <laughs> Boko shield, bro. So mid. Yeah, they're gone. The The music performers are actually just straight up gone. That's good, because then they'll visit other stables. And when they're there, uh, I'll be able to go and unlock the other great fairies. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to go see if I can talk to old Kilton. And uh, I, at least I assume this is Kilton. Maybe get some interesting items. He's out of his... What? What the... Dude, you're out of your thing. You look so weird. Hi. Hi, Kilton. Bro, he looks so... What happened to him? Ew. Bro. You let yourself go. <laughs> what happened to him? Why does he look so weird? What the heck? Dare I say commemorative photo next to weird looking Kilton? <laughs> okay, whatever. Sorry for making fun of you. Hi, pal. You there, traveler. You have business in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say, but right now it's... You remember me, right? What? Big brother? There's more than one? What the... What? There's more of you? It's no use! Colton! Please, it's impossible, absurd even, to try to turn yourself into a legendary creature. A Satori, no less. Absurd. You should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing a silly dream like the... Oh my gosh. I will never give up, Kilton. I 
I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I do not care what it takes. All I need to do is get my fingers on a bubble gem that I'm sure I'll turn into a Satori. And the rumors are true. There is a creature in the cave called a bubble frog and it glows just like a Satori. Ah, but I didn't think it would be up so high on the wall or run about all nimbly bimbly like that. In that case, little brother, why not get someone to help you catch a bubble frog? Yes, yes! Do you remember all that treasure you collected? You can offer that in trade! Okay. Uh, Kilton, hi, remember me? Traveler, if you don't mind, would you lend your ears to my little brother's plea? I fear Colton can't make his dream come true without some, eh, uh, assistance. If I'm going to make my dream come true, I must get my fingers on a bubble gem! Ah, but the bubble frog is so very nimbly bimbly and hard to catch. What's your dream? <laughs> you want to hear about it? My dream! Well, it's simple, really. I dream of becoming a Satori! You know, the creature of myth! Lord of the Mountains, like, watching from afar, like, uh... <laughs> Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule! Piercing eyes, bluish white fur. Oh, how I've admired them since I was a wee Carlton. And then I read these ancient texts and they told me how to transform myself, transform me, Colton, into a Satori. For it to work, I must find a bubble frog, a strange creature that loves dark caves and glows bluish white like a Satori. Then I have to collect a bubble gem, which is a bubble that bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased after the bubble frog lurking in the cave. I want to get my fingers on that gem. But who knew a bubble frog could gamble about like that? So nimbly bimbly. I want to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I'll do whatever it takes. What? I'm sorry. But that is my wish and my dream and my reason for doing such doings. So, if you get a hold of a bubble gem, please give it to me! I'll give you a treasure in trade, I swear! <sighs> I gotta take a break, bro. <laughs> I, I gave him an awful voice, it hurts. Here, have this. That's a bubble gem, probably. I have like 17 of them, I think, or something. Da -da 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 -da! That's a bubble gem! Colton, is it the real thing? That perfect shape and the faint blue glow. It's a real bubble gem, real as can be. You did it. Now I can transform it to a Satori, just like the other ones I adore. Thank you so very much. Please take this gifty in return. Oh, okay. Normally I got that from Kilton, but okay then. See, I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures. That is, monster parts and goods that make you look like a monster. The mask I gave you was made to look just like a bokoblin. So much so that even a bokoblin would take you for one. <laughs> By all means, do try it on. Then you will see what it's like to have the body and heart of a bokoblin. At last, at last, the time has come. Time to gobble down the bubble gem. Cheers and bottoms up. I did not think he was going to eat them. Okay, gulp. Um, ah, my body, it isn't changing, but, but I do feel a strange sensation washing over me. It can only mean one thing. I'm on my way to becoming a Satori, and that means more. I need more of them. And I can't just gobble them up at one time. No, that'll never work. I must collect lots and lots and eat all of them all at once. And to do that, Kelton. Big brother, I have decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Hmm. I see. Well, it seems that you've made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. Mm. I hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Mm. Big brother, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Stop, I can't, my voice. Traveler, I am grateful for your help, but I've decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Next time you get your fingers on a bubble gem, please, please do give it to me. If you do, I'll trade you a gifty from my collections of treasures for it. And with that, I hope we meet again sometime, somewhere. <sighs> oh my gosh, my voice is dying. <laughs> that was way too much. I swear my neighbors are going to be like, are you actually okay? Mm. Off he goes. I do hope he's able to make his dream come true. Yeah, I sure hope so. Now I have to be on my way as well. I'll be making the journey to Terrytown and Akala. Mm. But dear traveler, thank you so much for helping my little brother. And I hate to impose, I do hope that during your travels, you'll find time to assist him further. Mm. 
I will keep my ears wide open for news of my brother's whereabouts. So visit me in Tarrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes, I'll be going now. Okay, so are both of you a thing, or is it just your little brother now? The search for Colton. It begins, I suppose. Well, let's uh, explore this cave real fast, and then I think we can maybe end off the episode or something. Pico Pond Cave. That's a cute name for a cave. Uh, well, I found the frog, and I think that one shot it. Yep. Pretty easy. I got the bubble jump back. Yo, did I say I had 17? Oh my gosh, I was one off. That's actually pretty freaking close. My guessing has really been on point today. Let's see here. We can ascend right there. Yep, you can always see there's like a little flat spot. That's what the game is always telling you. You can ascend here, bro. You can ascend. And oh dear lordy, it's freaking Addison. Okay, I want to try something though. Let me see something. In my history... I should have, yup, let's just make this, build, <laughs> please tell me this works, that way I don't have to just spam, if this is the case dude, I can just keep doing this, that's gonna be awesome bro, let's try, it's you, thanks for the thing that you always do, try letting go, what, yes, there we go, easy, he's standing, yup, how's the president standing, whoa, he's so cool, Hudson, whoa, I love Hudson bro, He's my favorite guy. I definitely should go to Terrytown eventually to see him. <laughs> Perfect! Yeah, isn't it? With your help, President Hudson is now setting fr uh, proudly from your place, as always. Yep, yep, yep. Give me the rupee. Uh-huh. And give me the veggie balls. And what are you going to give me this time? Let's see. A sleepover ticket. Cool. Now I can go to other places to put more signs. Without him off. Bye, Edison. Yeah, I think we helped you twice in this episode. How about that? That's like a dinosaur bone. What the heck? Uh, whatever. Uh, I wanted to talk to you. Hi there. What's uh, up? Savak, are you going to that Goran restaurant? Or perhaps it isn't uh, food you hunger for. Could it be you have an appetite for me? Yo, chill, we just met. Aha, uh -huh, I'm just joking. Please, there's no need to look so petrified. I'm interested in the roast, which I hear is very popular among Gorons lately. One can't search for vo on an empty stomach. I need a good filling meal to keep me going. I see. Yeah, more about that restaurant again. Interesting. Let's end off the episode by seeing what we can see up this high. Uh, or maybe, dare I say, going to that? No, we'll start off the episode going to the Skyview Tower. Whoa! Oh. Huh. I wasn't planning on getting to an island like this. Is there a chest or anything? There is! How about that? Okay. Well, anything good? Alright, I'll take that. I'll take that. I wouldn't say that's rare, but it's like uncommon. You know, it's better than freaking arrows or something. Uh, that might be the restaurant there. Uh, there's a shrine right next to it. Uh huh. Big old cube over there. Yeah, I'm quite curious to start exploring this area. But, uh, that'll have to be in the next episode. But yeah, like I said, we're finally making our way closer and closer to Death Mountain. So hopefully in the next episode, we'll get even closer. But yeah, I'll see you all later. Have yourselves a great rest of your day, everybody. Thanks so much for watching once again. Bye-bye.